Entomology is the scientific study of insects and their effect on humans. Forensic use of entomology dates back to 1881, when one of the first standardised scientific studies was conducted by a German doctor called Hermann Reinhard. He exhumed bodies to highlight that the development of some, but not all, insect species could be directly linked to the buried bodies. Since then, scientists have continued to uncover new information about the life cycles and development of insects around decomposing flesh to help aid criminal and legal investigations. The primary information that entomology can provide is estimating how long the person or animal has been deceased, known as the post-mortem interval. The type and age of the insects present on a rotting body can lead scientists to determine an accurate timeline of when the person likely died. Not every type of insect that's found on a corpse arrives at the same time, so entomologists use the predictable order which they arrive to estimate these times. Certain insects, like the blowfly, have evolved to utilise dead bodies for food, survival and sheltering their offspring. A female blowfly will deposit around 250 eggs on a decomposing body, and within 24 hours these will hatch into first stage maggots. There are several more stages in the life cycle of the blowfly before they are fully grown adults, which takes around 400 hours in total. Scientists are able to analyse samples of the insects they find, and depending on the stage of development, an estimation can be made. There are several factors that impact the growth and appearance of insects around a decomposing body. Heavy rainfall can indirectly cause the insect's development to slow down due to a drop in temperature, whereas humidity and light rain can act as an insulator, accelerating the development of insects and maggots. A corpse that has been submerged in water will have significantly less insects inhabiting it. This is because water not only acts as a barrier, but flies are generally unwilling to travel across large bodies of water unless they deem it particularly worthwhile. If the body is exposed to large amounts of sunlight, the development time of the surrounding insects will decrease. A study conducted by Greenberg and Kunick showed that temperature ranging from the mid-70s to high 80s drastically reduced the developmental time for maggots inhabiting rabbit carcasses. This information is very useful for scientists and entomologists alike. So let's take a look at a real case that was solved through the help of forensic entomologists. Vincent Brothers was born on the 31st of May 1962 in Bakersfield, California, where he grew up to work as a vice principal in a local school. He had a very up and down relationship with his wife, Joni, whom he had divorced in 2001, only to remarry again in 2003. Despite this renewed commitment and having three children together, the couple again decided to split up. On the 6th of July 2003, Joni, her three young children and her mother were all found dead from gunshot wounds after neighbours noticed that they had failed to show up to their local church service. Police immediately suspected Vincent was involved in the murders, however he claimed he had left for a short vacation in Ohio just four days before the murders occurred. When police discovered that a neighbour reported seeing Vincent near the home around the time of the murders, they investigated his alibi a lot more closely. The rental car Vincent had used for his vacation had 5,400 miles on it more than enough to travel from Ohio to California and back. When forensic entomologists examined the car radiator and air filter, they found several insect species, including a large grasshopper and a paper wasp, that are found only in the western US. This provided concrete evidence that Vincent Brothers had driven the rental car inside the state of California, and ultimately proof of his guilt. He was found guilty of five counts of first-degree murder on the 15th of May 2007. Four months later, he was sentenced to death 